Hello guys, today I'm going to present about gen genetic engineering in food. What is GMO? GMO stands for genetically modified organisms, which is created by adding or re replacing a gene from external sources such as bacteria, animals, or plants with unrelated species. And food made from this procedure is called genetically modified food. And what is the benefits of GMOs? GMO technique has provided humanity with many benefits such as enhanced food production and nutrition, reduced hunger, safe food offered to humans, and reducing cancer rate. However, the implementation of GMOs creates controversy regarding ethical issues, and it is considered an ethical dilemma. Why is that? First, because in order to achieve successful GMOs, a large number of animals is needed. The majority of embryos that go through genetic modification procedures do not survive, and only 1% to 30% of those that survive are able to proceed further in the process and carry the modification to the next generation. In addition, GMO crops can harm the ecosystem. For example, the research has shown that Bacillus thuringiensis, or BT, a gene that produces a, tox a toxin that kills herbivorous insects, which is used for reducing cancer from the use of herbicides and pesticides, also have a negative impact on butterflies and bees, which are important pollinators of the ecosystem. It reduces their life cycle and population, which will further affect immune immensely on the ecosystem. This is the example of a lake company that was known for its GMOs and its unethical business practices, which is Monsanto. Monsanto viewed nature as an objective to be uh, manipulated and altered to become suitable for the commercial markets. For, for years, the company tried to control the nature of agricultural products and create new creations as their property and register for patents to increase the company's commercialization, which promotes the growth of companies, not the wealth of citizens or farmers. Then, as a stringent regulation on its GMO seed, in 2013, Monsanto aggressively prosecuted hundreds of farmers for saving and replanting the company's plants. Next is the unclear safety of its GMOs. One of the Monsanto popular pro products were pesticide and GMO crop. Their pesticide and GMOs crop has contributed to environmental damages as large amounts of pesticide was found in its GMO products and left the, chemi and left the chemical in the environment. It has contributed to contaminated soil, water sources, and also herbicide tolerance in plants. Last is the Agent Orange. Agent Orange is a herbicide used in Vietnam War and to destroy the forest for U.S. military benefits. And Monsanto was the main supplier for it. Other than destroying forests, the effect was the impact on human. Millions of Vietnamese have become disabled due to this herbicide and the effect is still destroying Vietnamese up to these days. As a result of continuous protests and bans from consumers against companies due to their questioning safety and toxicity of its GMOs, overuse of pesticides, Agent Orange, and the case of the prosecution against farmers, it has led to the end of Monsanto in 2018 before being acquired by the company called Bayer. So this is why GMO is considered an ethical dilemma. And the question is, is this worth it? And is this ethical? Can the benefit we gain from the GMO outweigh the risk we have to face in the future? Thank you for your attention. Next is the question session. <laughs>